good morning today let us learn about division of decimals by another decimal here one question is here question number 4 first question is i have written here this is x by 3d question number 4 in that question 7.8 divided by 0.1 here in this question both the number the dividend is a decimal number given and the division is also a decimal number given for dividing a decimal by another decimal first you have to change the divisor into a natural number changing a divisor into a natural number means without a point you have to write so first of all before changing that then first of all you have to check if both the given decimal is a like decimal or not here in this question in both number one digit is given after the point so you can change this number easily so divide first we are changing this divisor division symbol is taken And 0.1. This point be shifted to the right side by one place because in this divisor only one digit is given. So 0.1 we are writing here now. It is one without a point. And now the same way 7.8 also should be changed. 7.8 then we are shifting this point to the right side by one place. This number becomes 78. Now it is 78 divided by one. 7.8 divided by 0.1 be changed. 78 divided by 1. 78 divided by 1 is equal to 78. This is a direct method of doing division. One another method is also there here. So listen that that method also. In that method, here 7.8 divided by 0.1. Here both the number decimal. First, you can change this decimal into a fraction. So for changing this into a fraction. Without point, we are writing the number 7.8. Without point, it is 78. Now in this number, only one digit is after the point, so you can take the denominator 10. One digit, that is why denominator is 10. Division symbol and 0.1. Without the point, the number is 1 upon. Here also only one digit after the point, so you can take the denominator 10. Now it is fractions division, and you already know. how you can do the division of fraction you have to multiply with the reciprocal of the second fraction so here 78 upon 10 multiplied by reciprocal of 1 upon 10 is 10 upon 1 now you can cancel this 0 and 0 the remaining number you can multiply 78 into 1 78 and down sign denominator 1 into 1 1 78 upon 1 78 upon 1 is equal to 78. So in both method you got the same answer. Here in direct method you got 78, and in this method also 78. So in this method, which one is easy? That method you can use for doing this type of question. This is the next question. Question number six. 2.3 divided by 0.001. Here in division in direct method, first the divisor. In the divisor there are Three digit given after the point, but in the dividend only one given one digit. But first step, you have to convert this decimal into like decimal. Like decimal means after the point, the number of digits will be same. So you can take this 2.3. Here three digit, but here only one digit. So you can make this digit three by writing two more zeros. Now it is 2.300 divided by 0.3. 001 See now already you know 2.3 is equal to 2.300 whenever we are writing the zero to the right side of a decimal number the value is not changing so 2.3 is equal to 2.300 now you can first change the divisor into a natural number for changing this divisor into a natural number you have to shift this point to the right side by three places 1 2 3 So this number 0.001 becomes one only. 0001 means one. So we return here the same way from the dividend also. You have to shift this point to the right by three places. One, two, three. So this number 2.300 becomes 2300. Here we divided both the number dividend we change and the divisor also we change. 2300 divided by one. Is equal to 2300. So in direct method, you got the answer 2300. Now see another method here 2.3 divided by 0.001. 
as I said in the first example, we are also first you have to change this decimal into fraction. 2.3 is equal to 23 upon 10. Numerator the same number without point written and here after the point only one digit that is why we taken 10 as the denominator. Division symbol here without point 0, 0, 0, 1 means 1 upon here in this question after the point 3 digit 1, 2, 3 that is why here the denominator is 1000. Now do the multiplication 23 upon 10 multiplied by reciprocal of this 1 upon 1000 reciprocal 1000 upon 1 and this 0 you can cancel. Now the remaining number 23 into 100 multiplying you are getting 2300 upon 1. 2300 upon 1 is equal to 2300. So here also in both methods same answer. Any one method you can use for doing. Okay. Now let us move to the next question. Question number 6. This is question number 6 third part. 28.781 divided by 1.7. Here also dividend a decimal number given and divisor is also a decimal number. So now you already know first you have to change this divisor into a natural number. In the divisor only one digit is given after the point. So you can shift this point to the right side by one place. So this 1.7 becomes 17. We shifted here. Same way from the dividend also you have to shift the point to the right by one place. So this point will shift to this after 7 the square will come. So this number 28.781 becomes 287.81. Now here we changed both dividend and the divisor. Now you have to do the division. See the division now 287.81 divided by 17. See this number 2, 2 is smaller than 17, so you have to take it 28 together. 28 divided by 17, 17, 1 is 17. Do the subtraction, 8 minus 7, 1 and 2 minus 1, 1. You got the remainder 11. Now you have to take the next digit, that is 7. 7 we are writing here, now this number is 117. 117 divided by 17. 17, 6 are 102. So we written by written here 102. Now do the subtraction. 7 minus 2, 5. 1 minus 0, 1. Here you got the remainder 15. Then you have to take the next digit. But this next digit 8 is given after the point. So before closing that point, in the quotient also you have to put the point. Now take this number with the 15. Now it is 158. 158 divided by 17. 17 nines are 9 sevens are 63. 3 remainder. 6 remainder. 9 ones are 9 plus 6, 15. Here you got 153. Now do the subtraction. 8 minus 3, 5. 5 minus 5, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Take the next digit. This is the last digit. It is 1. Now this number is 51. 51 divided by 17. 17. 3's are 51. So here we completed the division and you got the remainder 0. So after dividing you can write the answer here 287.81 divided by 17 is equal to 16.93. See the next question. It is the 6th question. 136 divided by 0 0.068. Here dividend is a natural number given, divisor is a decimal. So already you know you have to change this divisor into a natural number. In the divisor, three digits given after the point. So you have to shift this point to the right side by three place. But first of all, you will change this into like decimal, then your work calculation will be easy. So in place of in 136, you can take as 136.00 in the dividend also now you change 136.00 and divided by 0.068 now in both number three digit given after the point 
So for now changing this divisor into a natural number, we are shifting this point to the right side by 3 place. So after shifting, this number is 0, 0, 6, 8. 0, 0, 6, 8 means 68 only. And the same way from here, we are shifting this point to the right side by 3 place. So this number will become 1, 36,000. Now both the number will change. Uh, now you have to do the division. That is 1,36,000 divided by 68. 1 is smaller than 68. The next 13 is also smaller than 68. So you have, you have to take a 136. 136 divided by 68. 68 twos are. 8 twos are 16. 1 remainder. 6 twos are 1. 6 twos are 12 plus 1, 13. Here you got the 136. Do the subtraction. 136 minus 136, 0. Next digit, 0. That is smaller than 68. It is not possible to divide 0. So we are taking, writing 1, 0 with quotient. Next digit, also 0. And here also we are writing that 0. The next also 0. Here also with that. So here, after doing the division, you got the answer 2000. So 1 lakh 36,000 divided by 68, the answer is 2000. Now let me explain question number 7. See, question number 7, write as decimal. Second question I given here. See in this, 50 divided by 16. Here both number, a natural number given. Dividend natural number and divisor is also natural number. For finding the decimal of this, you just do the division only. 50 should be divided by 16. See here. 50 divided by 16. 16 threes are 48. Do the subtraction. 10, 10 minus 8, 2 and 4 minus 4, 0. Here you got the remainder. But you don't stop the division here. You have to complete the division. For completing the division, what do you have to do? In the dividend, you can put a point and take one zero. That means because 50.0 is equal to 50 only. So after putting the point, you can take this zero down. With the two we are writing, this is now 20. And now you can divide 20 divided by 60. But before dividing, what do you have to do? This zero will be taken up from after the point. That is why in the quotient also, you have to put the Point. Now do the division. 20 divided by 16. 16 ones are 16. Now do the subtraction. 10 minus 6 is 4. 1 minus 1 0. Again 4 is remainder. So you can take write one more 0 here. That 0 you can take here. Now this number is 40. 40 divided by 16. 16 twos are 32. Do the subtraction. 10 minus 8 is 10 minus 2, 8. Again remainder. So taking one more 0 and this 0 we are taking here. Now this number is 80. 80 divided by 16. 16 fives are 80. Now here the division is completed and you got the remainder 0. So the answer of this question, the decimal of 50 divided by 16 is equal to 3.125. This way you can find out the decimal of a number. Now let me explain next question. This is the fifth question. 13 upon 25. So in this question is given in the form of a fraction. And now you know 13 upon 25 means 13 divided by 25. Do the division. Here I am writing 13 divided by 25. And see this 13 is smaller than 25. It is not possible to divide a smaller number by a bigger number. So what you can do? Put a point, take 0. 13.0. 13.0 is equal to 13. Now you can take 130. So 130 divided by 25 you can do. So before doing that, this 13 is smaller than 25. So in the quotient you have to put a 10 and put point also. Because this 0 is given after the point. Now you can divide 130 divided by 25. 25 fives are 125. Do the subtraction. Here 10 minus 5, 5. 2 minus 2, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Here you got 
remainder five, no other bit is there. That is why we are taking one more zero here. And this zero we can write with the five. Now this number is fifty. Fifty divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five twos are fifty. Fifty minus fifty, zero. Here you completed the division, got the remainder zero, and your answer is zero point five two. That means thirteen upon twenty-five. This decimal is zero point five. Now see one more question. This is seventh question. Nine seventeen upon forty. In this question given in the form of a mixed fraction. So first of all you have to change this mixed fraction into improper fraction. For that nine should be multiplied by forty. Nine into forty three hundred sixty. Three hundred sixty plus seventeen. We are getting three hundred seventy seven. Three hundred seventy seven upon forty. And 377 upon 40 means what? 377 divided by 40. Now do the division. 377 divided by 40. We are doing three smaller than 40. 37 also smaller than 40. So we are taking this number 377 together. 377 divided by 40. 40 into 9 360. Doing subtraction, seven minus zero, seven, seven minus six, one. Seventeen is the remainder. So you have to continue the division. For that, we are putting one point here, taking one zero. Now this zero you can take here. Now this number is one hundred seventy. Now you can divide this one seventy by forty. But before doing the division, you have to put a point here. Okay. Now one seventy divided by forty. Forty into four, one hundred sixty. Do the subtraction. Zero minus zero zero. Seven minus six one. Again, ten is remainder. So we are taking one more zero here, and this zero we are taking down. Now this number is hundred. Hundred divided by forty. Forty twos are eighty. That we are writing here. Hundred minus eighty. It is zero, and the ten minus eight two. So you got the remainder twenty here. So one more zero we are writing. Now this number you can take. Now this is two hundred. The remaining part I am writing here. Here you got two hundred. Two hundred divided by forty. It is forty into five. Two hundred. So two hundred. You are getting do the subtraction, and the remainder is zero. So here or here you completed the division, and you got the answer nine point four two five. You can write the answer here nine point four two five. This is your homework. Exercise three D, question number four, question number six, and question number seven. These questions do in the handbook.